lot of times when a uh, person has a problem with the car, the first thing they're thinking in their mind is, oh no, oh damn, you know. I know women do get frustrated with this stuff. It could be anybody, though. It could be a guy. Depends on your knowledge of cars, but uh, sometimes a little can of something in the gas can actually work. And I'm going to explain when you do this. Just, just more like some junk I know. And um, I actually told the person, I think, um, a few months ago, I had a Cadillac that had this code on it, and I was thinking about this. I said, I should just put this out on a net. Um, now, you, you can to read the trouble codes, for instance, right? You see the engine check light comes on, and a lot of times you go in a the garage, they might charge you for that. A lot of times they do. Like a standard charge would be $75 or $95. Well, you can get a simple code reader that can... Um, read the code itself. Usually it's, un it's under the dash. There's a uh, simple port that you look and it's uh, ODB ODBC code reader. And um, what you do is you just turn the key on and read the code and it'll tell you. But and if you don't want to do that, you can just go down to AutoZone or a lot of car, car parts places or read the code for nothing. Now a typical code that a lot of times cars kick off, this doesn't happen all the time, is code P601 which is the first bank O2 sensor now there's something you could try before you even change this you probably have to change it anyway but in the case of a P420 which is somebody I recommended to fix this on his uh, Cadillac and it worked like a charm there's something you could do very easily and let me explain this first um, P420 is a catalytic converter. When a catalytic converter goes below 95% efficiency, it usually kicks this code off. With that, the way it reads this code is, and I hope I'm explaining this right, there's an O2 sensor before the catalytic converter, and there's an O2 sensor after the catalytic converter. You don't really need to know this, but just that what happens is if there's not much difference between the two readings, that's, it's assuming that the catalytic converter is not changing the uh, makeup of the fuel mixture and cleaning it out the fuel so it became less efficient so a very simple thing to do now I like using this stuff but it's hard to find it's BG 44 K you could put like a fuel system cleaner in there and they got a gazillion brands out there but believe me from my experience there's a few brands that are a hell of a lot better than all the rest they're a little more money this stuff, I think you can get it on like eBay and stuff like that, but I, I really don't see it too much in automotive stores. I don't see it in Walmart or anything like that. It's pretty expensive, but the better ones are more expensive. Put a can of this in it, and a lot of times if you drive the car on the highway, the catalytic converter will clean up and you'll get rid of that P420 code. Now, in a case, if I told this to a guy that had a Cadillac, and uh, I was just a couple years old, but he just kind of uses it for short trip driving mostly, and he had that code. I think that catalytic converter would have cost him $1,000. They probably would have changed the part. They would have put some can of stuff in it. They would have changed it. So <laughs> I saved him 1000 bucks, but, you know, I should have charged him some money for that. But anyway, I'm just putting it out here as a public service announcement, I guess. Now the other thing I use, I, this I could pick up in Walmart anywhere, and um, it's not as much money as B, BG, um, this stuff, BG44K Seafoam, a lot of people know about this. This is a good product, and uh, there's a couple other ones. I used to like Chevron, it made a pretty good one. I think they changed the formula on a little bit. I just use this, and if you look at a lot of reviews, a lot of people use this stuff, and one or two cans in a gas tank. And if you have this code P420 um, on a catalytic converter below the uh, efficiency threshold, a lot of times you can clear up. Now, not all the time can you put a can of something in there. It could be that the second O2 sensor is bad. It could be that, too. It's not a guarantee that it's the catalytic converter's clog itself. That's usually the case. But if it's like when it first clicks on, the code first clicks on, a lot of times you can clear it out with some high, you know, driving on a highway for a while and putting some of this stuff in it to clean it out. Um, just putting it out here as a 
public service announcement. I kind of know some of these things so you can actually benefit from it. And um, in the case of P141, which is the upstream O2 sensor, that's a very that's usually more of a common code. That's more like a disposable part. The first O2 sensor, the one that's before the catalytic converter, usually goes first. Uh, the second O2 sensor seems to last forever. Now, I've also put cans of stuff in a gas like this, the BG44K or the Seafoam. And uh, there's other brands out there, but usually the more expensive brands are the ones that work. But you could trust this brand. You can get this at Walmart or something. And uh, a lot of times you cleared up the code for a good long time. But usually uh, with the case of the P141 code, it's not going to clear it up forever. It probably needs to be changed. But I've noticed that uh, I could put a couple cans of that in there and it would last for a couple months. Then I would finally change the part. But it could be useful to know, say for instance you're going to an inspection or something like that and you need to have all your emissions up to snuff, whatever. You can use this and uh, everything could be working, there could be no codes and that could get you by till whenever you want to pay to have this fixed. Now with most economy cars, like the simple economy cars, like the Toyotas, the Chevy Cavaliers, you know, the Ford Focus and all this kind of garbage. And... Uh, the P141 code to change the O2 sensor is very simple, but luxury cars and other cars, they could be very difficult in some cases. It could be very tight, cramped quarters. Usually the four-cylinder standard economy compact cars are fairly easy, so you might want to change this part yourself. I'm not going to go into that, but a lot of times for these two codes, the P141 and the P420, it's worth it to try some of the sea foam. And I personally like this stuff, the BG44K. As a matter of fact, these things work so good that even if you had a fuel filter that probably needed to be changed, you know, it's been in a car too long past the mileage that you should change it. Using this type of stuff can probably keep that filter from clogging up. It actually is so powerful that it cleans the dirt out of the fuel filters. So I'm just kind of putting this out of here as a cost saving tip so uh, people don't go nuts with extra bills and stuff like that. Uh, actually, a lot of times I take the cheap route, but sometimes initially, you know, as long as it's not Mickey Mouse. Um, and I tell people this stuff. I kind of know a lot of little stuff like this. So more of a public service announcement. So figured I'd just pass a couple of tips. Once in a while, putting a can of stuff in a gas tank actually works. Um, but I recommend those better brands, the BG, 44K, and the uh, Seafoam. That's another good one, too. Now, there's other ones out there, but, you know, it gets into, like, uh, politics, and I really don't care. I usually just usually just get the Seafoam right at Walmart, and it stuff works good enough for me. So that's what I do, but uh, they're not... That's worth a try if you get those two codes, the P141 for the first O2 sensor, the P420 for the catalytic converter. And I stated that you can also get those codes read at uh, the, the, the codes read over at um, AutoZone or a lot of parts places will do it. If you take it in a place to have it fixed, they'll charge you $95 to read the code plus the part plus the labor. I don't know. I don't. I don't ever fix. I don't ever uh, have anybody fix my cars ever. So my next new car is probably going to be a 1959 or 1958 or 57 or 1960 restored. And I think uh, I'm getting away from all these crazy computers.